Hello there, this is Cookies. I've got turn 42 of EA Machaka. We have a lot more action this turn. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll start with our Siege on Midlands. And then we'll go ahead and see what Hinnom's doing in Hexwoods. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Misclicked. Alright, so this time I'm bringing the Elephants. Uh, the plan is this guy is going to cast Haste on them, so... Um, unfortunately, Tramplers do not get access to the waiting mechanic where they can move through friendlies to attack the enemy. So I need them to get here first. So that's kind of the idea there. So we're hoping Haste can help fix that. And then we have a fair number of Rhino Clan and Commanders over here on the flanks. Uh, the idea is if they do route, I want them to retreat through the middle and hopefully not run over all of our Commanders. I'm willing to risk this guy. To do the haste because I don't want him I'm hoping he's close enough to do it for the elephants but maybe not other groups and then we've got another little group of rhino clan over here so that's kind of the idea here and we have a few skelly spammers too over on Fomoria's side we can see that they've been summoning a number of griffins they've got a storm drake um, a fair number of Fomorian Druids, some Long Dead, Numidian Sorceress, and some Whites. So we'll have to see how we do, and a tremendous number of Slingers. See Haste going there. Alright, so that gives them combat speed 27, which should be plenty fast enough. Get our blessings off. All right, now they are up. A little unfortunate that they're out of that soon. I was hoping they'd hold up a little bit longer. Uh, I think what's going to happen is they're going to probably HP route the army because they, they represent so much HP. And then the, the Rhino Clan just aren't particularly brave. Uh, we are trying to break through here. See the Rhino Clan leaving. That's what they're best at. It's why I started only recruiting them for bodyguard duty and not actual combat. I just couldn't trust them to really fight with anybody, it felt like. Um, let's see... So we, we get pretty close here, but these, these shockwaves are doing a tremendous amount of damage, and we should HP route soon. Yeah, there it is. So this is, I think, pretty similar to how it actually panned out. Uh, I think we got close, but not quite. So, another disappointing loss. Uh, we lose a Hyena Clan Witch Doctor and a Voice of the Lion. Now, this one should have been twice born, so we only really lost one mage. The elephants were fairly disappointing. Um, what I maybe should have done was have Voices of the Lion there to bark skin them, and maybe they would have done a little bit better. Um, we only lost five Lion Warriors, and then they ran away. Uh, the Rhino Clan just died a lot and also ran away. So I think uh, this one was when I finally kind of realized that I was over some of the recruitable uh, Machaka troops, especially the Rhino Clan. So I think they, they go on bodyguard duty after this poor showing. And uh, otherwise, we did kill 18 of the Griffins. We killed 11 of the Long Dead, 3 of the Whites. Um, 
any stuff that retreated did come back though so we'll have to go ahead and try to siege it again in terms of the retreats uh, everything went pretty well so we should still have a reasonable amount of stuff and uh, so that that's kind of like the the star of the turn and we do have a few other battles so we've got hex woods so and i'm sending a raiding party here but we've just got one pd and then in cloud cap veritas send in the god in for the one pd had enough of this one PD. I mean, partially this was also to get in position to help me with Midland, because I think I asked for his help. Uh, or I told him to start getting in position to help in case I failed again. And then we have Jimmer, where we see a Lanka stack going up against a Fomoria stack. So here we have just uh, a lot of elves um, so, and a number of Fomorian giants who, uh, oh, they might get blessed by this guy. So pretty basic crew. And over here with Lanka, we have some barbarians, we have a number of demons, and we have a small Sabbath. Along with a few Ghanas and some long dead. So let's see what they cast. bloodlust and uh, that gives plus four strength right oh maybe it, maybe i just can't see it as a, a modifier all right and then if you remember their bless has quickness in it along with a little bit of heroism and fire resistance in terms of chaos power, they're at minus one, so they're fighting in some order dominion. Ooh, true shot. That's interesting. Some mist form. It looks like all the blood slaves are on a particular commander and they're moving with them. But here we go. Go ahead and take a look at the main thing. These guys are really good. I like the, this unit. They've got very high attack skill, and they hit like a truck, but they've also got a, a much better protection than some of the other Lanka recruitable demons. So the Long Dead are just kind of tying up enemy forces, and they're hitting them really hard on a flank, and turning that flank... I'll check. They might have been 14 strength before the fight. You can see they just kind of move down the line. Alright. So, how did they actually do? They lost a Barbarian Chief, a few Barbarians, and a handful of long dead, but otherwise they slaughtered this Fomorian force, including six sacreds, uh, 22 Numidians, uh, 12 unmarks, so I think that's 12 more sacreds. Yep. And the unmarked champion, so just wiping this force. Very solid win by Lanka. And let's go ahead and double check. Oh no. Alright, I'm remembering Bloodlust strong. Give me one second, I'll look it up. 
Oh no, they did go to 22. That's weird. Okay, maybe I just wasn't updating the previous time I played it. But yeah. Alright, so yeah, that was a plus four bonus to strength. That was weird. Alright. And... So we covered Midland, we covered that. For events, we found a magic site and got a bunch of free barbarians. And then we got some earth gems. And we got our white mage. Oh, and the worldwide event was there's an upcoming arena that I think we're going to again forget to send someone to. But all right, so I'm I'm moving to hold down the siege here. Uh, there's not a lot left. Uh, some of it retreated over the mountain pass and can't come back. So I'm going to be gathering up some of this. And I'm also telling Veritas to send his army to go ahead and take Midland. I'm probably not going to be able to pull that off with Hinnom coming here. So we've got 40 Raphites. And we're going to go ahead and attack here. We're going to do a bunch of Skelly Spam Lion Warriors on the flanks. Some on attack rear, some on attack closest, along with more attack rear stuff, and a little bit of bait out in front. Although I probably should have put these guys in the center to draw their line in towards the center, so the other attack rear stuff would get to the back. But yeah, we want to protect this for it, we also want to hide the fact that we're recruiting here. Now, Fomoria could still see what we recruit here through the Sea of Carassos, but maybe they'll just not notice because they'll be focused on other stuff. And then we're sending some additional stuff here to go ahead and help. And we're recruiting a Lizard Shaman. I can at least pretend like this guy came in an event or something, just the first guy. Uh, we're recruiting some more elephants. Now Machaka elephants do have more morale. So it'll be a little bit better. Um, I was thinking maybe I'd need them. And then uh, we're getting a Spider Clan Sorcerer. We started our fort yet? We have not quite. We're saving up some gold for it, but I needed to be ready for Hina. So that's what I'm prepping for. And yeah, we're still doing some blood hunting over here and slinging the blood slaves over to Veritos. So I think that's it for this one. I think Veritas is mostly still scaling. Yeah, I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and see you next turn in turn 43. Have a good one.